front of me. They are three guys, Stefan, Ashley, and Drew, and they're my crew. But tonight, they are the Midnight Beast, and they're my guests. Welcome, welcome to the show. Howdy. Howdy. Hello. Did you um, did you like that? It was a different song this time. I loved it. Loved yeah. it. I loved, it. I loved the change of words. Inventive. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Crew. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> what rhymes with my name? Ashley. Um, Ashley. Uh, sm smiley. <laughs> uh, cryly. <laughs> you know what that is. He does cry. Do you cry at like that, Ashley? Never. Never. I'm a man. So that doesn't, I couldn't rhyme that with that. Now, look, if you're listening at home and you're thinking, hang on a minute, what the heck's going on here? Midnight Beast, they're back again on my Radio 1 show, the 519 show. Um, what's going on? They were only just a, on a moment ago. It's like, do you know what? I've seen more of you over the last couple of weeks than my actual family. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we? we? We bumped into each other oh, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's worrying. It's uh, flattering. It's not worrying. It's nice. Nice. But I've, do you know what? I think I've got like a bit of a man crush on, on each of you equally. Oh, like thanks. 33% each. Don't have a favourite. Yeah, you're, not, you're, not, you're scared. I'm scared. No, don't be scared. Don't He's always bumping into us, right? Yeah. He's got a man crush on us. Yeah. Uh, stalker. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Well, it's out now. It's out. So uh, it's out in the open. We, we, we saw each other at Reading and Leeds, didn't we? we? Did, yeah. Mm -hmm. You literally stormed it. How, how did you find Reading and Leeds? It was brilliant. Was I had a really, really good time. And we watched you after. Yeah. And I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Absolutely. It was so yeah. fun. And we couldn't, we uh, just couldn't believe like how many people had turned up. We didn't, I don't know what we expected, no. but there yeah. were mosh pits and everything. Yeah. There were, but the thing is, at Reading, right, I, I d I'd never seen you perform live. You are so energetic for 20 minutes. It's incredible. You come off and you literally, you're just, you're knackered after 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you are electric. Like I don't know how you're going to do your tour and do like an extended set of that. No. How are you going to cope? I'm not sure. We've got a double there, haven't we? Yeah. I go to the gym, so yeah, far. Yeah. Oxygen masks at the side <laughs> of the stage. Yeah. Yeah, a little bed. I don't know how your fans are going to cope either, but the thing is, at Reading, it was packed. It was literally packed. Everyone was standing up. It was in the, eternal, um, the alternative stage. And they yeah. started cheering the Midnight Beast. Midnight Beast. People were having to be pulled out of the audience. You absolutely smashed it. And I was on after you. Yeah. And I had to walk out and everyone was leaving going, no, no one can beat that. <laughs> everyone was leaving. It was completely empty in the tent. And I had to go on and go, they were brilliant. <laughs> to be honest, they were fantastic. <laughs> so what was what was Leeds like compared? Leeds you were on a different stage, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. it was mad. There was girls crying at the front. Yeah, crying for That's dancing. What? what did you say, Ashley? Yeah, uh, what did you do? <laughs> you were a man who doesn't <laughs> cry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't watch it, them. But I'm hoping it was crying out of happiness and not sadness, because I'm yeah. Yeah. they're so rubbish. Oh, 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 oh. The worst thing I've ever I'm seen. getting crushed for this. <laughs> I think the weirdest thing was having a mosh bit whilst rapping about uh, the Prime Minister. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, who moshes to that? Um, Our fans do, and we, yeah. blood, and we love them. Leeds, we love it. Leeds, I guess. Yeah. Amazing. We love them. <laughs> you absolutely love it. And um, what did you get up to? What was the, was the festival like? Did you, did you go out and about, meeting the fans? Yeah. Like, there were so yeah. many people outside tonight, and then I've had literally the text has gone crazy. I've even been tweeted at me going, seriously, I think you're a little bit odd <laughs> the way you keep talking to the Midnight Beast. <laughs> They're people like saying, I'm stalkerish already. That's and amazing. So if you could say something that I'm not, I just, I am a little bit. Tom is not. Tom is not a stalker. <laughs> Tom, Tom is, is not a stalker. Respect him. <laughs> don't He's like, don't offend him. <laughs> well, it, well, it must be crazy because there's so many fans just absolutely adore you and absolutely love you. When you came on to the 519 online show, there was, I don't think we've had as many people queuing up to, you know, get close to you. Wow. That's no, it's crazy. been incredible. Like, we just want to make sure that we kind of reply to everyone, and and yeah, yeah. It's, it it sometimes gets hard, but we just make sure that we always do. So it's been overwhelming. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. No, no, no. I'm just saying it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I don't know how you you have the time to keep tweeting back everyone. But look, uh, when you came into Radio One last time, I sort of had a proposition for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm using that word proposition. You did. Um, <laughs> I did. I just used it. I can replay this. <laughs> Right, I wanted to be the unofficial fourth member on another parody yes. song, yeah. right, and um, we sort of, because you've done TikTok and you've done Jay Sean's, uh, amongst others, um, so we, we we did that, didn't we? We did, we did yeah. you, uh, you forced, you were forced into it. Yeah, we went to work <laughs> on it. Not at all, not at all. Well, how did we, how did you go about sort of deciding which one was right? Don't, don't, don't say what it is. Uh, um, well, we, we were, um, I again, like, 
Well, we're looking through the music channels, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always a case of, well, what's number one this week? No, no, there's a bit more thought into it, but yeah, we were having a look through and we thought it could be quite relevant. Drew, Drew you uh, kind of lived near some of them. I did, yeah. yeah. Around the corner, in fact. We're teasing, we're teasing. We're we're teasing. Are. We are we teasing. Are. Um, before we get to that, though, um, cause to show our fruits of our labours, um, uh, we should listen to Booty Call. Um, it's out on the 13th, it's up in a couple of weeks. I'm um, very excited about this. Um, yeah, should we, should we, would you like to introduce it? We'll play that and then we'll look at our fruits of labours. Okay, get yeah. ready. This is Booty Call by us. <laughs> <laughs> What have you done a parody of? 
It is. The Wanted. No. Well, yes, yes, it is. I don't know why I'm doing No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I already know, but, you know, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> why The Wanted? Why The Wanted? We 